Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we'll make a very cool sidebar using jQuery. You can see when I hover my mouse over it, and it's a very cool jQuery effect. And guys, in this tutorial, we'll use jQuery animate function to make this effect. So let's begin. So first, guys, I'll make some p tags and I'll give it a class name of one and right. First, and I'll copy it. I'll copy it five times and write second, third, fourth, and then fifth. So, firstly, guys, I'll open it in browser. Now you can see. So, let's uh, set its CSS. So firstly I'll give it a border of one pixel solid and uh, background color of red and the color of white and I'll set its width also. So I write width. I'll give it a width of 100 pixels and uh, set its margin to zero and uh, Padding to padding top to uh, top and bottom zero pixels and uh, left and right for five pixels. So refresh. And, uh, okay, let's set it padding to five pixels. And I'll give it a border color of white. I can see this is our P tag, and uh, I'll give it a anchor tag also. I'll copy it and paste it in the same way. I'll close it, copy, paste it. Fresh now I'll set it CSS also so right dot one e and color to white and text decoration to none. So refresh now you can see. Now guys when I hover my mouse over this uh this P tag then its width will be increased and its will, width will be increased in a very nice way. So some animate animation will be applied to it. So we'll go to external jQuery file. So firstly, I'll make a mouse over event for this p tag who has a class name of one. So I'll write dot one dot mouse over means when I over my mouse over this uh, over this p tag, then. I write this dot animate and in between these two brackets I write, uh, write two curly brackets and then I write width column double quotes or single quotes whatever you want to use so I write 200 pixels means when I hover my mouse over any of this p tag then width of that p tag will be increased so refresh i can see but when i take my mouse back it will be uh, it will its width will be again 100 pixels which i have given here so i'll write a mouse out event for this so I'll write dot one dot mouse out so I'll write function I write this dot animate I'll give it a width of hundred pixels so refresh when I hover my mouse now you can but it's a problem here when I hover my mouse over it 
it will be animate again and again because it's uh, creating a queue so in order to get rid of this problem I write this dot stop in the same way I write this dot stop guys what will happen if I will hold my mouse over this again and again it will see if there will be any queue it will remove it so refresh I can see when I hover my mouse over again and again it will remove that queue so guys uh, this was about jQuery animate function so if you have any question in your mind then you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial